Welcome to Meteorology 101. Visit our website at meteorology101.com. In this video, we are going to discuss air masses, their source regions and how they affect North America. The definition of an air mass a widespread body of air with similar temperature and moisture characteristics in both the horizontal and vertical. Air masses may cover several thousand square miles. Types of air masses Continental Arctic air mass Continental polar air mass Maritime tropical air mass Maritime polar air mass Continental tropical air mass The Continental Arctic air mass this air mass forms in the frigid areas of the Arctic Ocean, Antarctica, Greenland, northern Siberia, Alaska and Canada in the winter. These areas have a uniform surface, usually extremely cold and dry. This air mass does not allow for increased moisture content because the area in most cases does not have unfrozen water. When the continental Arctic air mass does move south, it is the one that starts the frigid dry weather that we know as the polar vortex. The continental polar air mass forms in the northern regions of Canada, Alaska, Siberia and sometimes northern Europe. As the cold of winter settles in, the cold sinking air helps intensify the highs. In the summer months, the warmer rising air helps weaken these highs. These air masses are typically cold, dry and stable. Maritime tropical air masses are very warm and moist in low levels. The eastern side of the high is more stable, so most clouds and precipitation are found on the western side. High dew points make it very uncomfortable in a maritime tropical air mass. The source region for the maritime polar air mass is the cold, unfrozen ocean areas poleward of 45 degrees. These air masses usually form from continental polar or maritime tropical air masses as they move over the cold ocean areas. This air mass is responsible for the rainy season and lake effect snow in the Pacific Northwest. During the summer, the source region for continental tropical air masses in North America is in the desert southwest and northern Mexico. Here, the air is very hot and the air rises causing a low pressure area. These lows are thermal lows and are called heat lows. If the subtropical jet comes far enough north, it can cause the warm and dry air mass to push east. The leading edge of this air mass is known as the dry line. The dry line is known to cause sudden severe weather in the south. These videos, although short, take hours to create. Please consider clicking the thumbs up and sharing this video.